Hey guys, Ballsy Fast again, jumping right into another gun review real fast. I'm trying to get some out there for you guys. I've been slacking. Um, got some big things coming up, like I said in uh, one of the other videos. Uh, the reference um, 2012, the year of awesomeness. I've got a lot of stuff coming up. I uh, want to get dozens and dozens of videos up. Uh, got some explosives we're going to do, some ballistic testing we're going to do, some running gunning got some property now so we're going to get more in depth more involved I'm going to try to better not only the quality of my video but the quality of what I have to say my info my data um, right now the quality of this video is not going to be the greatest because of the um, the video camera I'm using is a little older but that's just because the wife's got the other one so anyhow moving on uh, this is Magnum Research's Desert Eagle in 40 cal. They call it, um, you've heard people call them a Jericho, Baby Deagle, whatever. Uh, it is a Magnum Research Desert Eagle. Made in Israel. And come on, you know that Israelis got to make a good gun. They've been at war longer than anybody else. Uh, we're going to jump right into this review. Uh, as far as out of all my collection of 40 cows, this happens to be my favorite. <laughs> I absolutely love this 40 cal gun. Um, I like the value. Um, I like the ammo capacity. Uh, I mean, it could be better for the ammo capacity. I love the ergonomics. I love the weight. I love the size. I love the accuracy. I love the length of this. This is one of my favorite shooting pistols. It does have a Picatinny rail. Um, it does have the groove trigger guard. It has ambidextrous safeties. Ambidextrous um, slide release. All you got to do is m move it over. Uh, it has the, uh, um, they call them bright dots, I think. I don't know. I can't get the info on them. But, uh, the sights on it I like. Uh, this gun came pretty much zeroed in. Slide release. It's got a low profile slide. So, you can see that, can't you? Not much of a slide there. But, it is a really nice gun. It is a metal slide with a polymer frame. Um, if it didn't have the ambidextrous safeties, you could tell. I mean, that's a pretty thin gun. That is pretty thin. It is not chunky by all means at all. I mean, that is a, a nice ergonomic feel. I mean, the ergonomics on this gun is amazing. This feels great. This feels like it belongs in my hands. Uh, it does have, it is double and single action, or single double action. Um, like I said, everything is ergonomic, or not ergonomic, but ambidextrous on this. Uh, the magazine, you get two of them, and they're 13 uh, rounds uh, capacity. But, I mean, I'll, you, you might want more than that, but 13 is about right in the middle. I mean, you've got them that holds 7, and you got them that holds 20. This is right there. I mean, I like it. Uh, the gun looks awesome. It feels good when you shoot it. It's accurate. The recoil on this gun is minimal. Uh, the barrel or the rifling is or in it is um, parkinized. I think I said that right. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. But uh, it is safety checked, by the way. Um, nothing in there. But moving on. Slide release is kind of out there, it is kind of big sticks out there a lot but and I mean it depends on who you are I don't mind it too much on this gun because I just use it most, mostly for plinking uh, and then you've got the decocker slash safety disengages the trigger um, here's your 40 cal round in comparison to your 10 mil your 45 and your 380. I like. I don't have any 9 mils left. I've shot them all out, so that's what I got right now to kind of show you. Uh, 
where or where it is as far as cartridge cartridge is concerned. And law enforcement loves 40 cal. Um, seems to be one of the favorite law enforcement rounds. As far as military is concerned, NATO. Everybody knows NATO. Nine millimeter is always military's choice as far as sidearms. Uh, the price point on this gun is actually pretty good. Don't know the MSRP. I should have got that information for you guys. I know that I can buy this gun pretty much everywhere for about $459. I see them online for that, and I bought it from a local store um, for $459. To me, that is not bad for a Magnum Research gun. Uh, it's been accurate. I mean, we're talking 40 yards accurate. Uh, beats the crap out of uh, a couple of the Glocks I own. Um, I'm not saying it's better than a Glock. I'm just saying, as far as accuracy is concerned, it does beat the crap out of a couple Glocks. It does have a four and a half inch barrel. Or sorry, that might be actually. Let me see if I have the paper here. Four and th three quarter inch barrel, I think. And um, it just has been reliable, really reliable. I was actually amazed with the reliability in this. I probably did eight consecutive mag dumps and hit without a flaw, without even a hiccup, just ran through them. And I've got probably, I'd say about a thousand rounds through that, maybe 1,200, somewhere in there. Uh, I like the the look of it. They call it, uh, a lot of people call it the, uh, the female version of of the actual Desert Eagle. Well, you know what? You're a bad chick carrying uh, this gun. 40 cal. You're a bad dude carrying this gun. Carry gun? I don't know, maybe. Not concealed carry. Open carry, maybe. Um, it's slim, or slim, it's light. A little bulgy right here. The safety's in the slide release. Uh, home defense gun? Absolutely. Grab and go gun? Yeah, I would I would grab this and go. Service pistol? Maybe. Maybe. I'd be 50-50 on that. And battle pistol, about 50-50. The accuracy is what does it for me for the battle pistol. Um, reliability about uh, beating on the ground and stuff like that, I haven't tested it that far yet. We'll, we'll see. Um, as far as the straight up shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting, it's proven to be very reliable. Uh... I mean, I wish the sights were a little bit more low profile, but other than that, this gun is awesome. And that is it on this video, guys. I'm going to try to keep them coming. Uh, sorry about the, it's a new location, bad quality of video. I'll try to fix that later on with a different video camera. And I'll work on my skills as far as uh, giving you data and stuff like that. Um, do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment. And I'll keep them coming. Thank you so much.